Hey, Pastor Ray Barnett here with you. Glad that you could be with me here on the Oasis. And as always, I wish you a good morning, good afternoon, or a good evening, depending on what time you're watching this broadcast. Well, not a bad day here in upstate New York, but a little bit on the cloudy side. Hey, uh, you know what? Today is Wednesday, November 22nd, and before I forget, it slips my mind and I forget, I just want to wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving tomorrow, if you get to see this broadcast before tomorrow. It's a great holiday. I'm going to talk a little bit about that tonight in our service, our Wednesday evening service on the origins of Thanksgiving. But anyway, I just wanted to wish you a happy, happy Thanksgiving. Now, let me ask you this question. When it comes to your health, right, and this here we're dealing with mental health. When it comes to your health, are you committed to getting well? A hundred percent? I want you to think about that. On one of the broadcasts some time ago, I talked about this, this subject and I want to review it. For those new subscribers, I wanted to go into it. You see, over here I have a, ch I have a couple of chess boards actually. You see the knight, the rook, and of course, all the pawns, chess boards here, got a couple. Chess is a game. You, if you play chess, you play any game or sport, it may be a debatable point whether you want to win, really want to win or not. But in the end, whether it's football or baseball or basketball or hockey, or chess, or anything else, it's just a game. Now, I understand that we've elevated sports here in America to the status of real life, but it's not real life. It's designed to be recreation from real life, same as entertainment. So it's a game. Now, let's say, for instance, you are a very good chess player, and you want to win. Well, and you study chess moves, you do a couple of few chess puzzles every day, and you play often and all of that, because you really want to win. Okay, that's fine. Fine. As far as I'm concerned, I think it's fine. But you still have to factor in that it's a game. No matter how seriously you take your games, your sports, whatever. They're still games. They're still recreation. But life, life must be conducted more like a business, meaning if you are in your own business, I have one of my sons that's uh, in his own business, and, he, you know, there's a lot of work that goes into that. And when he does a job, he um, puts 110% into it because... He wants to build up his business and have more work and, and work for himself. It's an ambitious goal. That's a business. That's not a game. Chess is a game. There's two different... The point of this is there's two different approaches that should be taken by you when it comes to your health. Your health, specifically because we deal with mental health, your health, your mental health, is not a game. You say, well, Pastor, I know that. Well, if that's the case, then my original question uh, was, are you 100% committed to getting well? Oh, let me put it to you this way. Do you treat your health as a business, or do you treat your health getting well as a game? And I don't mean it's amusing or recreational. I mean, you just sort of, well, you know, I win, I win, I lose, I lose. 
So you, you won't get well like that. <clears throat> you won't be, beat those panic attacks and depressions and other things that you're experiencing, your symptoms, if you treat your mental health like a game. You know, I could give up this hobby of playing chess or uh, I could commit to it. But either way, when it's all said and done, it's just a game. When it comes to my health, and by the way, I stay on, a, on a, an exceptionally strict diet, meaning I'm very committed to my diet. Um, I'm in the gym every day, six days a week. I get my sleep. I, I do my best. Because without your health, you can't do anything else. Or you can do very little. Just think when you're sick with something like a cold, a bad cold, or a flu, and you're knocked out, you're on the bed, you can't move, and we've all been there. So it seems to be academic that health must be treated like a business, the business of being well, that you have to treat it the way my son and others who have their own businesses treat their business. They take it seriously. Well, if they want to have customers and make money, make a living and eat, pay the rent or a mortgage, whatever, we're going to have to take the business seriously. A game, even if you love it and you lose, you can say, ah, I'll do better tomorrow. With your health, if you lose your health, well, you can't do, you can't do too much. So what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to exhort you to make sure that you attend to your health, in this case, mental health. Um, not like a game, but like a business. So that you're very attentive to follow the instructions that I, I give you here, or suggest for you, or, uh, and your doctor's instructions and so on. And you make it your business to get well. Because without that, without your health, it affects your marriage, it affects your relationships, it affects your job, it affects everything. So under God, God being understood that he must be first, then you must make health top priority. So let's say we understand that God is number one. That being understood, then we say health is the number one priority of your life. Because without your, without your health, you're not going to be able to accomplish much and in some cases you're not going to be able to accomplish anything without it all right so just a brief exhortation today it's a question really that you need to answer you have to say to yourself am i treating getting well the way i would treat a business or do i treat it the way you know you you, you play a game i mean you could again you could play a game of chess today and not play for a couple of days for whatever reason, tired of it, whatever, just don't. But you can't do that with with your health. You have to be in it all the time. So, let me pray for you today. Let me pray that God would help you to make sure that you make mental health, good mental health, a uh, you treat it like a business and and not like a game. In other words, you want to want to play around with uh, the training aspects of good mental health that I teach on this the channel and treat it the way it needs to be treated. Treat it as though it were, and it is really, it's a business of getting well. Getting well is a business, it's not a game. So let me pray for you today. Father, I pray for my friends, I ask you to help them today to understand what I'm trying to get across is that they must be in it 100% to get well and do the training that it takes to get well and to attend to the principles of Scripture, to the, the teachings I give them here, and to the instructions of their physicians and doctors and counselors, so that getting well becomes a business, so that they actually get well, permanently well. And I pray that today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, that's all I have for you for today, just a short exhortation about your health. By the way, you could apply it to physical health as well. It's not just simply a game. You want to attend to it like a business or a businessman attends to his business. Uh, be in it 100%.
Also, uh, tomorrow is Thanksgiving Day, so I may be with you. May I may not have the time because we're, obviously we're going to be with family, just like many of you will be with family. So, um, I don't know if I'll be getting a video up tomorrow. Not not sure. These don't take too long anyway, so I may be able to do it. But um, I really do wish all of you a happy Thanksgiving. Oh, by the way, if you want to subscribe, be part of this, uh, these teachings here, subscribe, hit the notification button, and always share these videos, those of you that are subscribed, with others who, who definitely need them. I don't know, it was 400 and five or 410 videos now so there's a lot of information and people need it they really do they need the exhortation they need the, the comfort they need the help all right lord willing if i don't see you tomorrow which again is thanksgiving day um then i'll see you on friday either way always remember make sure the peace of christ rules in your heart god bless see you tomorrow